There are so many amazing organizations here in Frederick doing some great things for our families and children in particular, and this one is no different. I am excited to chat with Janet from the Friends of the Child Advocacy Center here in Frederick. She has been the president for the last year or so, and you have another year, I'm assuming. This year. <laughs> this year. This is it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, do you have somebody taking over for you after this? Well, they will. They have a slate <laughs> planned. Our membership committee is developing a slate of candidates. Nice. Because so the good news this, is, yeah. yes. <laughs> yeah, we don't want it to go by the wayside just because right. the term is up, right? Okay. Right. So you were telling me that the Child Advocacy Center was started kind of as a project from the Women's Civic Group and became a part of the local government. Is that correct in 2006? Well, the Friends were, the, the friends, friends of the Child Advocacy Center. We're oh, very okay. interrelated. Yes, <laughs> so, yes you are. Um, yeah, the Child Advocacy Center is the government agency right. and the Friends is the nonprofit arm of, of the Child Advocacy Center. I understand. So the Child Advocacy Center was there always. The government yes. had set it up because it does compile departments like um, Child Protective Services and Social Services, right? Or all of those sorts of needs. Correct. Multidisciplinary team. What is, you know, made up of several agencies within the Frederick County government sphere. And the CAC supports children that have been through child abuse or neglect. And it is a service that they prepare children for trial or they have come there to have forensic interviews done about what has occurred. That is what the Child Advocacy Center does. And then oftentimes the families are in crisis, so they have to leave their abuser and they have to go out and get housing or something like that. And so the Child Advocacy Center finds out what support is needed. And then oftentimes they come to the friends of the Child Advocacy Center to meet those needs, such as getting clothing for the child or um, finding pain for a, an apartment gotcha. or we do we do things we mentor the children that's a big part of our advocacy and that went by the wayside with covid but we are resurrecting that so if the cat feels that the child needs a mentor to help them and show that there's support uh, in adults you know, can support them and help them. That's what, you know, we will do. And um, we've done things like tutoring children. Mm. We'll do um, things like with a, with a friend, a yoga, uh, therapeutic yoga classes. There, we'll pay for therapeutic riding classes. Oh, we'll play, pay for summer camps. Oh, fantastic. And in fact, we have one now that is, go is going to a summer camp. I think it might be karate related. We've mm. paid for karate lessons. A yeah. lot of those kind of services that, um, you know, the, the CAC isn't allowed as a government agency to do, but so they'll come to us and they say, hey, can you do this? Yes, yes, it makes sense. How many families would you say you support or kids you support? Uh, I'm sure it's just kind of rolling all of the time, but. Right. It is in a, in a year, it is about 350 uh, children and I don't know, maybe 100 to 200 families. Wow. Or maybe okay. more. Yeah. So your funding as a nonprofit comes, I'm assuming, through grants or fundraising or things like Correct. that. All yeah. donors. It's all it's all. Um, and we're an all-volunteer nonprofit too, so mm. it's all donors and grants. Is there any particular time of year where you feel the need is greater that you guys are kind of that you ramp up for, or do you find it's kind of the same twenty-four-seven, twelve months a year? Yeah, it 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 varies, but you can't really predict it because it's always on a 
a cri- it seems to be like always on a crisis basis. So it can, um, I know in December we do have a holiday program um, where we do for, we do provide gifts and um, gift cards for the families of children that are currently being served. Mm. Um, and that would include, that would extend out if not only the child that has been through abuse, but you know, their family member, like, you know, siblings and, and the non-offending members of that family. So yeah, we, it's a big program and we have several, um, other uh, organizations that have been instrumental in helping us um, get the gifts together and things like that. And also during Thanksgiving, we provide gift cards to current, you know, families that are being serviced by the CAC throughout through, from the whole year. So it's not at that t- moment in time. Um, those are two big things we do at the end of the year. Um, April, was just um, Child Abuse Awareness Month. Right. So we do, um, with the, well, the CAC goes around to all the um, township and they do proclamations that about to make everybody aware about Child Abuse Month. And we've had several um, fundraisers for, I know Rec Brewing just did one for us. They did a happy hour. Yeah, I saw um, that, okay. We have a uh, bracelet, um, Colonial Jewelers, we have an embracelet, which has been done with a lot of agencies. Um, and ours is really pretty. It's blue. It's on our website. If anybody wants to go to our website, um, it's, it's, and 30, all, it's $30 and all of it, 100% comes to us. Yes, Colonial so, Jewelers is great with that. What can the citizens of Frederick do to support you? Um, how can we find out what your needs are and, and help? Okay, there's a couple um, things on our website and on our, we have Facebook and Instagram, we're on all social media. On our web, website, we have a membership form. The biggest thing is more members we would like and of course, money, yeah. <laughs> you know, donors. On our website, we have a membership form. If anybody's interested in becoming a member, they can fill out that form and it comes right to us. Um, we also have a donut, don't donate page. Yeah. And, um, you know, you can support us through that. You know, we use PayPal and that send in money. Um, but those are our biggest needs is actually the volunteering. We have 35 members right now, but we can always use more people because the more um, we get out there in the community, we, I feel like there's more volunteers needed. And, you know, it's, it's sometimes it, it's a lot. Like we, we participate in, in the street and we participate in the, um, block party with um, Asbury United Methodist Church and that's in July and you know there's a whole bunch of giveaways and it's a long you know it's a long period of time so it's nice when we have multiple volunteers so we can do it in shifts. We also yeah. just participated in the YMCA Children Healthy Kids Day. So yeah so we're trying to do something like every month. So at least we are, you know, get out there. Yeah. So what attracted you to this organization? What, like, when did you join and kind of what brought this to your attention? I, um, well, actually I joined because I played bridge and two of the ladies (laughs) were in my bridge group and, um, they were always talking about it. And I, I've always had a, uh, love kids and I really wanted to work with kids and, and originally my degree, my college degree is in social work. And I had done some crisis counseling back in the day. So when I retired, I really thought I'd like to get back into working with kids and, you know, somewhere in that realm. Mm. And so I went to a meeting and after that I um, said, okay, I really want to join this organization. I think it would be 
you know, it, it, they, we, they do such great work. And I just felt like I'm really helping out the kids in the community that have, you know, had been in a crisis. So, yeah. Yeah, look, I mean, I think any time any of our organizations can step in at a time of trauma with some young people, uh, it will hopefully subvert any of the larger damage that might come, you know, hopefully right. you can at least be a support for that child um, and family, you know, for the uh, immediate future, at least. Uh, well, right. look, I think what you guys are doing is fantastic. We'd love to keep in touch with us so that as soon as you need help or volunteers for any larger thing, we can remind people that volunteers are needed, but certainly if you can donate, if you can volunteer or join, right. this is the time to do it. And we'll put the website up there for you, but um, we wish you guys all the success. And um, yeah, if there's ever anything we can do for you to help, let us know. Okay, thank you very much.